Hi there, welcome to this tutorial about Samba for bongos and congas. Uh, it was a request and uh, so I will show you some different uh, possibilities how you can approach Samba. Let me first explain uh, a Samba which you can always play. It's like this. This is a samba that I use when I play in a band and I hear that the guitarist and keyboard and bass, they do not really know samba, but they play, let's say, tropical patterns, <laughs> but not really samba. In this way, uh, you can play, you have the timing of the shaker and you have the surdo on the second beat. This tak chikitum, chiketak chikitum. It's not that difficult, it's just you start with the open tone uh, on the conga, then two fingertips, left to right, then a slap, left hand, then I go to the tumba for the first open tone. After this open tone, again fingertip, left, right, and then again an uh, open tone with the left hand and an open tone with the right hand. That's the rhythm. And the last note was the same as the first note. So when I repeat it, it's like this. Now I can play the slap that I play just before the open tone here on the tumba, I can play it here on the macho. Also easy. Yeah? Now in uh, Rio, very often there's a sudo who's playing the third pattern and it's like this. So first two open tones here and then the three open tones. This is, uh, by the way, a samba that I would use when I know, uh, I hear that the other members uh, know about samba and they know how the flow of, for instance, this Pachido Alto is, this tun tin ch kung kung king dum 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 ting kung kung king or king dum 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 ting kung kung king dum 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 ting it's important when when others know about this flow in samba and they play it right in the song then you can go deeper into samba but when they don't know this you have to play a tropical variation of samba and you don't really show how the flow is. <laughs> but okay, when you use this one, this I can add the hembra. So the first, when I play the two open tones here, the second open tone I will play here on the hembra. Then I go back here with the two open tones. And then the second time I go here and play the three open tones, this the first one is on the tumba and the other ones I play here on the hembra with my left hand. Now I can still add this slap, which I play, can play on the macho before the open tone here. So I can play this.
like this. That's another way how you can play this samba. Um, the next rhythm is more based on the bossa nova clave. This ta ka ta pa ka ta ka ta ta ka ta ka ta. Uh, I think uh, Mosidaji plays this with the kaishas. This tak chak chak tu chak 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 tu chak chak. Anyway, the beginning is the same. This yeah, but now the right hand goes back to the macho. So after the note open tone on the tumba. I play a fingertip left hand and then I go back to the macho. So I have. After this note, the two open tones are coming on the conga. After the two open tones, left hand again a fingertip and the right hand plays. The other, again, a note on the macho. The right hand goes back to the tumba, playing an open tone, and directly after this open tone, the left hand plays an open tone here on the macho. Yeah, this. So you have. And then after this note, the two open tones, left, right, are coming here on the conga. And then you are back at the beginning. So you have this. And so on. This is how you can add this bossa nova clave. And of course you can use this in bossa nova too. Okay, a completely different approach to samba is when you see this tumba as a hebolo. The hebolo in Brazil is a small bass drum played with the hands. So one hand is playing the skin, the low tones, and the other hand is playing on the side, on the wood. And they play rhythms like this. I made a video tutorial about Samba Pagoji. If you look at it, you can see how I play this Herbolu. Okay, now the tumba, I can play this rhythm. First note is closed. Not a slap, but closed. Then, just before the second beat, another closed note, and on the second beat, the open tone. So you have. Before the first beat, I play another open tone, and then the first beat is closed again. So I have. Like this. Yeah? With the left hand, I play normally on the side, on the wood, you play an afterbeat. But I can play it here, this. But I also can play it here on the macho. Now, all the close notes that I play here, I can make it open tones here on the congas. So I, the melody is like this. Now I can make, uh, with my left hand, I can change the pattern here. I can play tambourine patterns. So, for instance, when I play this rhythm, ta 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 
cat, 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 When I play this on the uh, macho, it sounds like this. And so on. In this way, uh, you give uh, the samba will sound a little bit different. Very often, guitarists are playing tambourine patterns. This so when the guitarist knows about tambourine, and <laughs> then you can use this. And of course, you can also play it with the, the open tones here. This. Uh, so on. Uh, so this is also, but of course it's not easy uh, because sometimes the notes are coming together. Uh, let me explain it in a slow tempo. Uh, first, uh, with this open tone, when I play the open tone here on the conga, directly after the first note, you play one note. Then the second note here comes together with the second note on the conga. Then my hand, right hand goes to the tumba. After this note, one note here on the bongo. Yeah. Then I go back with this. And the note here on the conga is again together. Together. And you play one extra note here on the uh, macho. After this note, again a note with the uh, with the right hand on the conga, and I go back here. So when I get back here, then directly after this note, one note here on the bongo. Eh? Directly point. And then uh, the last note comes together with the open tone here on the tumba just before I get back on the conga. And then you're back at the first beat. So that's how this rhythm is built up. It's not easy, but very nice. <laughs> okay, I hope you can use these ideas and perhaps you can make your own uh, rhythms for samba because when you have a setup like this, you can also approach it from, uh, for instance, uh, Agogo, the, the Agogo bell. Uh, last week I... Um, I posted a video, for instance, about uh, Arake 2, and there was a agogo pattern like this. And you can translate those rhythms to congas, and you can create your own uh, samba rhythms. Okay, I hope you can use it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.